Hey, I'm Rue. I'm an addict. You're about to start a brand new chapter. Hi, my name is Lena, and today I'm going to be talking about media ethics and the show Euphoria. Without going into like a super long ramble, to sum it up, Euphoria is a modern day take on what it's like to be a teenager in suburbia America, dipping into topics like substance abuse, physical abuse, sexuality, and various coming of age esque themes. It can be described as a melodrama combining realism with some exaggerations. What I'll be focusing on is discussing how the show accurately captures what it's like to be a teenager in modern America in the sense that teenagers have had some sort of interaction with these topics and how the show, how the show portrays um, sensitive topics in the media format correctly, aka ethically sound, within its realm as a melodrama, which is generally hard to do without backlash or serious inaccuracies. The show does three things that stand out and make it accurate and well made. Portrayal of substance abuse, portrayal of the mystical aspects of being a teenager, I'll elaborate on this later, and emotional realism. Okay, so the first one is going to be substance abuse. In Euphoria, the main character, Rue, is a drug addict, and very early on it's shown that she went to rehab after an, overdo after an overdose, came out, and went back to her old ways, basically. From the scenes displayed, uh, displaying her on the ground, found by her sister and taken to the hospital, to the scene when she was asked to mention a memorable moment in her summer, which is when she had her overdose. Uh, this was while she was in school. She was asked to in front of all her peers. Uh, the show really captures the essence of a drug of drug abuse as a teenager, and given the creator was also an addict, it makes sense why it was so well done. You don't have to be an addict to understand or have known someone like Rue and the seriousness of the topics. There's no glorification or exaggeration in how things rolled out like there might be in other parts of the show, which will be discussed later. It's raw and unfiltered, leaving no reason to think that the show prompts drug abuse, quite the contrary. Okay, so my next point is going to be discussing the mystical aspects. Um, I think one of the greatest aspects of this show is how it dips into these mystical aspects of being a teenager. The argument that Euphoria is not realistic, in my opinion, doesn't really make much sense because, yeah, it's still a melodrama. It's meant to be a combination of both real and fiction. If you want to watch something true, then watch a documentary. Um, what Euphoria does that shows like 13 Reasons Why fails to do is use a combination of amazing visuals, makeup, and exaggerated scenes to capture a sort of essence that surrounds the time when you're in high school as a teenager. An example of this is the scene when the characters all go to their high school dance, and also the other scene where they go to the carnival. It's just very like bright and bold and just very over the top. The scenes and shots have a playful, fantasy-like, chaotic tone to them, which is used to capture that feeling as a teenager, as I mentioned. This also reminds the viewer that it's still just a show, and it's not necessarily how groups of teenagers live. You know, you don't live in a music video, which is kind of the sort of-esque of some of the scenes. Uh, the difference between Euphoria and 13 Reasons Why is that Euphoria mixes realism and fiction so that the serious topics are balanced and not so over the top, while 13 Reasons Why is so focused on the seriousness that it almost becomes a sort of soap opera that ends up working against its purpose to spread awareness of things like suicide, for example, and, and it instead romanticizes it and prompts it. Um, I'm going to leave a link to the particular article I'm talking about that actually discusses that suicide rates went up after 13 Reasons Why was released. Obviously, there's multiple like factors that go into it, but um, I don't honestly, I don't think that it's that much of a coincidence. But anyways, um, if not done correctly, media can use these topics to create a lot of disorder, like I mentioned with the whole 13 Reasons Why. So my last point is going to be about emotional realism. Um, this sort of ties in with my previous point, what Euphoria lacks in some aspects of realism and makes up for in its emotional realism. Like mentioned before, the aesthetics of the show and the attention to detail in each shot is not just for fun's sake. It captures a feeling, a mood. Um, this is also seen in the over-the-top makeup and some that some of the characters wear. Um, it portrays a certain mood like a lot of the time they'll be wearing like bright yellow eyeliner pink eyeliner It's not something like a normal person would really wear every day um, When the character is having fun their outfits and their colors pop um, While when they're arguing or when they've been declined drugs like Rue was 
Um, they're wearing no makeup and they're barefaced, so it's kind of symbolic. Uh, this attention to emotional realism is exactly what I believe counters the glorification of drugs, sex, partying, etc. argument that is made, especially when uh, there's the scene where Rue is at a party and uh, the shots make it seem like she's in a music video. Like it's very... I'll leave the clips so you can see them, but it's not meant to glorify partying and drugs and all this, but it's meant to play into the feeling of being a teenager at the party and feeling like like you're over the top, you're over the moon, like you're high or whatever it is. That's that's sort of the point of it and a lot of the time there's just misinterpretation on what they're doing in the show. So in summary, I believe Euphoria combines just the right balance of realism and fiction so that it captures teenage years in a way that is honest and truthful but not so over the top that it seems like it's using sensitive topics for views and attention, like for example 13 Reasons Why I May. Um, I know that they had good intentions, but it's honestly hard, I think, to make a melodrama right without it either seeming too over the top or just too blunt or just not coming off right, and I think Euphoria really did it correctly and ethically well. Um, it's just, it's a hard thing to do. Um, but they, they did it for rather for awareness and portrayal within, its capa within Euphoria's capacity as a melodrama because, again, it's still a melodrama, so... There's only so much you can do within that field, but I think Euphoria did it right.